he's explained that the no what and, fact i have to state uh, like uh, uh, gold smuggling and uh, the hindu he did not say about gold smuggling so he, he said or he did not say yeah, i am asking you I will tell you what he has said, exact words. Swarnam mai komaruna kalla panam inniva kadatunnat nadan itaraya kuttam an. What does that mean? If these are his words and these are on the video. These are his words on video. These are his words on video. And uh, when you say about denial, read the denial properly. What Hindu has said. Hindu has said, this is, the, this is Hindu. What Hindu has said? PR agency Kazin Kazid had approached the Hindu offering an interview with the chief minister. Who arranged the interview? PR agency. This is what Hindu is saying. Chief Minister is saying he has no PR agency. Whom to believe? I'm asking you whom to believe. Hindu paper is saying that we were approached by PR agency. And these representatives of the PR agency, this is, I'm, these are not my words. This is Hindu. You can, you can take the picture of this. And then he says, the Hindu report says, our journalist interviewed the chief minister at Kerala House for 30 minutes on September 29, where two representatives of the PR agency were also present. Why they were present there? Why they were arranging the interview with Hindu? And I'm ready to accept if he is denying but what he said on 21st of September, twenty-first. When was the press conference? Twenty-first yes, of twenty-first of September. He has not denied that, and the words which I have quoted are from that press conference. And not only that, not only that. This is what Indian Express had published on 22nd September. Yeah, 22nd, 22nd September. Whatever it is, whatever it is, but uh, let me tell you something more. This is from the Kerala police website. And it has been quoted by the Financial Express on September 14. What it says? That the proceeds of the money, proceeds of the gold smuggling and other crimes are being used to fund the banned organizations. If it is not anti-national, what else will be anti-national? And police website is saying this. My question is why he has not informed and briefed the head of the state. If anti-national activities are going on, why he is keeping me in dark about it? Why I am sitting here in the Raj Bhavan? My duty is only to see that anti-national activities are not permitted in the state. Why he is keeping me in dark? That is my question. The law and order is with the state government. Definitely, definitely, it is the duty of the custom. But when it somehow they are able to evade the custom and they come outside, and the state government says, the police website says that this in money which accrues from the gold smuggling and other criminal activities that is used to fund the banned organizations. 
whose duty is that central government? Please. True, inside the airport, it is the duty of the uh, custom department. But if somehow it comes out, how much uh, they have seized gold custom people, but then even then there is some leakage. And the police site is saying, website is saying, that the, this gold which is leaked, which comes out, the proceeds of the, the income from that gold smuggling is used to fund the banned organizations. He can speak to press. He can say so in an interview. What is his credibility? Hindu is saying, I'm quoting from Hindu, I'm not quoting from anywhere else. He says he has not engaged any agency. Then why does he not file a suit against Hindu? Hindu is saying that they had not contacted him for an interview. It was a PR agency which had offered them interview by the chief minister. So who is right? Hindu is right or chief minister is right? Whatever government position may be, first you tell me here is what he... Fine, fine. But then he is praising Hindu. Hindu is saying, Hindu is saying, that Hindu were approached by a PR agency. CM says, what is his credibility? How to believe him? Here is the Hindu cutting. You can read it. Who, who contacted Hindu? Who offered them that they should interview chief minister? And Hindu says that two representatives of the chief minister were present in the meeting. And one representative, why Hindu will not uh, accept if they suggest something that you include this also? What is his credibility in the face of what, in the face of this denial which has been published by Hindu? Chief Minister says he has no uh, PR agency. Has he said or not said? Does it prove that what he has said is the truth? Because Hindu is saying that he was, Hindu was contacted by PR agency. And two representatives of the PR agency were present when he was being interviewed. Who is, who is, who is truthful? Hindu or chief minister? What is his credibility? Why we should trust him? When, as long as, certain political elements are supporting him, he is patronizing them. And when they fall out, then he finds he is trying to f put the blame on them. I ask you a question. The read, shall I, shall I believe you or I should believe what Hindu has published? Whom should I believe? Are you the spokesman of Hindu? Which organization you represent? I'm asking you. Which organization are you representing? Are you representing Hindu? No, no. Then read it. What Hindu says? Read it. What credibility he has? He is indulging in untruths for political purposes, and he is hide, he has something to hide, because even when his secretary was arrested in the case of gold smuggling, I would like to know where that money was used. And what right he has, he has a constitutional duty to keep the governor informed, to brief the governor, and he is not briefing me even on matters which concern the security of the country? The police website says that these funds are being used to support the banned organizations. Why he is keeping me in dark? This is a very serious matter. And I am under duty to report to the Honorable President. If something of the... I have merely asked him where I have distorted I have asked him, please let me know the nature of anti-national activities. 
who are the groups and individuals who are involved in this. I write to him on 20th September. He has replied on 8th of October. He takes 28 days. How many days? How many days? More than 20 days to reply to my letter? He has something to hide. He has been patronizing these elements. This is, this is what he, they are saying. I have every authority. If anywhere in the state anti-national activities are happening, I have every authority. And soon you will come to know whether I have authority or not. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, 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 you are not possibly listening to me. What is his credibility? He says he has not engaged any PR agency. And this is Hindu, which says PR agency contacted them to offer interview by the chief minister. Hindu says, read it, you read it loudly. You have read it? Then have you questioned him? I ask you, have you questioned him? No, there you won't question. You will ask the head of the state questions which are totally irrelevant, but you have no guts to ask him. There you don't get even the opportunity, and yet you parrot like repeat what he says. Hey, question, if governor is not here to keep an eye on activities which are prejudicial, which prejudice the unity and integrity of the country, then what for I am here? And when the head of the government himself is saying, the police website is saying that the money from these crimes is being used to fund the banned organizations, then what I am here for? To enjoy the palace that is Raj Bhavan? Certainly not. I am here to keep an eye on these things. And these people, because there is something for him to hide, therefore he took 20 days. And then he has given a misleading reply. Okay? Thank you. Sornakaratapanam, they should be the Protangal Kubio Kinu and the Varanya Mukum and Rendu Gonda than the other Ikinilla and the Governor Jodikino, Sornakaratapanam, they should be the Protangal Kubio Kinu and the police website Le Rekal, where the cartoon the Governor Arif Mumad Khan, Mukum and the Niritil Nertagiana, a PR agency Viva the Til Hindu Barino, a PR agency Anna Pimogatina, Sami, which the Bachangan Regency Illa, and the Lagari Mukum and Rivarino, Ariana Vishusi Kenda. Mukim under Kind Visho said the Anula and the Chudium Governor Arif Mohammed Khan Virtu, Tanika, Provatanga, Tarayanula, Ella, Atigaru Munda, Misleade in the replay on Mukim Radama, even the Pitanik in Algeda, and Nulla Kutapatam Governor of Hagatunda.